You have a lead? Oh, there we go. It goes right into it. Hey guys, it's Nostalgic Gamer Princess back with um, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. And apparently we are able to finally tell Kyler that we have a lead. Or not? For fuck's sake. Hold on one second. Let me try this again. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. You have a lead? No, I don't. I'm gonna go play detective now. Keep me posted. But anyway, it said um, the girl um, who supposedly exploded, Fiona, um, it looks like she's alive and yeah. Maybe if I try you it again. Have a lead? Damn it, it won't let me do it. This is so upsetting. Fuck, okay, hold on one second. You have a lead? I'd better get to work. Anytime you want to talk, I'll be right here. Okay, um, well, so, um... It looks like Fiona might be the Banshee. So, um... What was it that we had last time? And honestly, oh yeah, that's right, we have- oh god. Um, but yeah, so, um... Oh, fuck, I just, I don't want to do this. And this is so nerve-wracking. I'm so done. What if we tell homie over here? Let's save first. Maybe tell him? What's going on? Nothing. I'd better get going. See ya. Keep it real. Thanks. Alright. Oh, lord. I'm not ready for this. But yeah, so I finally did some editing. Okay, I guess my method of travel is now flying. I'm not quite sure why. I, I'm pretty sure I can just walk, but apparently I need to fly. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna run into her, and I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just straight up terrified. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. See, none of this would have happened if I could have just walked. Like, I have- I don't understand why I couldn't have walked. Oh god, here we go. So I have to open that lockbox thing, right? I'm legit taking my earphones out because I'm terrified of what's gonna happen right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Happy sixth birthday to a darling daughter. Aww. Dear Fiona, you are the light of our life. Our deepest love to you always. Happy birthday, sweetheart. That's so sad. Uh oh. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be in here. This is your home, isn't it? My name's Nancy Drew, and you're... you're Fiona, right? Fiona Malloy? Huh? Fiona, listen, I didn't mean any harm. See, I'm looking for someone, a young man named Matt. I don't suppose you've seen him. Fiona? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I don't like this at all. I have literally one earphone in, the other one out, because I can't right now. Oh great, now I have to navigate. I love that so much for me. Uh... Okay, I can't turn that way, can't turn that way, can't turn that way. Can't do anything. Okay, I guess I have to pull on this. No, don't touch that. Oh! Sorry! No. Sorry! Oh! Nuts. Well, now you're trapped over there and I'm trapped over here. Now I'm done. I take it you're Matt. I'm Nancy Drew, the maid of honor. Thrilled, I'm sure. You wouldn't happen to have a tunnel boring machine in your pocket, would you? Or food? Do you have any food on you? A biscuit or two? Some crisps? Coca Kringle? Anything? Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, the only thing that woman in the shabby dress ever gives me are carrots and potatoes and such. 
I've been wandering around down here for days. I want something full of sugar and nice, greasy fat. You know, real food. You know, you could have just said something instead of me pulling on a lever and you being like, don't do that. <laughs> like, it, it's quite clear that you were watching me. Anyway, she feeds you? Just how did you wind up down here anyway? Um, I want to know both. I just don't know if I'll be able to know both. Just how did you wind up down here anyway? I stumbled upon the entrance to a secret passage in the nursery, so I thought it would be jolly good fun to make some ghostly sorts of noise from inside it and give Kyler a fright. But all of a sudden, this crow flew in through the window and came straight at my eyes. I fell backwards into the passage trying to get away from it, and the next thing I knew, I was falling through a hole in the floor. Fortunately, I only fell about two meters. So I got to my feet, and since it was dark and my glasses were knocked off when that crow attacked me, I started feeling my way along the wall, looking for a ladder or something, so I could climb back up. But instead, my hand hit some sort of button. A siren went off, the door above me slid shut, and there I was. I yelled until I was hoarse, but no use. I was trapped. So I felt my way along the tunnel, looking for another way out, until I got to the lab you're standing in. At which point, I blundered into the button you just pressed, siren goes off, door comes down, and suddenly I'm even more trapped. Not long after that, the doors at the top of the silo slid open. So I looked up, and by squinting really hard, I could see an old woman with long hair, wearing a long ratty dress, just standing there, looking down at me. I called to her, told her who I was and what had happened. I told her everything. Called to her till I went hoarse again, but she just stood there. I even tossed my ring up to her, saying, Go ahead, keep it, just get me the heck out of here. Nothing. Coffin does she show up? She didn't say anything to you. She didn't say anything to you? Not one word. She just tossed a turnip down to me and left. <laughs> and since then, every once in a while, the silo slides open, and she'll be standing up there in the fresh air looking down at me. Then I get showered with vegetables, she goes away, and the silo slides shut. Whenever I talk to her, she kind of grunts as if she understands what I'm saying, yet she refuses to help me. It's like I'm her pet or something. And now there's two of us. Dibs on the potatoes. He's a funny dude. Why does this door shut when I pull the switch? Are you sure there's no way out of here? Are you sure there's no way out of here? Granted, I lost my glasses and am extremely nearsighted without them, but I've inspected every inch of this subterranean paradise, and unfortunately, it seems the only way out is through those silo doors. You see? As best I can figure from the papers and drawings i found, you're standing in the laboratory where the bloke who lived here during World War II did all his top secret research. He was working on new forms of propulsion to be used in flying machines, rockets, that sort of thing. Apparently, to keep unwanted visitors out, he planted devices which would allow him, at the push of a button, to seal off the lab. This gate and all the others will go up when our hostess decides to feed us. Opening those silo doors seems to reset everything. Oh my god, so much. Kyler's trying her best not to show up but she's really worried about you. For a while, Kit was convinced you disappeared because you had decided you didn't want to marry Kyler after all. Mr. Delaney, the caretaker, he thinks you were spirited away by fairies. I hope I can ask all these or say all these. For a while, Kit was convinced you disappeared because you had decided you didn't want to marry Kyler after all. I'm not surprised. The fact is, soon after we got here, he tried to tell me I was about to make a colossal mistake and that I should call off the wedding. Such wishful thinking on his part is exactly why I didn't ask him to be my best man. Oh, I made up some excuse about office politics and occupational expediency, but... Kit was, and is, and hopefully always will be, my best friend. But having him be my best man, knowing he's still smitten with Kyla? I figured I'd pass. Don't I have his glasses? Kyla's trying her best not to show it, but she's really worried about you. That's the worst of it, knowing that my eagerness to play a silly prank on her is going to wind up ruining the wedding. She's going to be so disappointed and humiliated and appalled. She'll never forgive me. What an idiot I am. Hmm. I love her so much, and I am so lucky a mongrel like me landing someone as smart and beautiful as her, and now, whether I ever get out of here or not, I'm going to lose her. 
What an unthinking, short-sighted, immature idiot. Aww, I like him. Mr. Delaney, the caretaker? He thinks you were spirited away by fairies. <laughs> you know, I actually miss that superstitious, super ridiculous old fossil. Kit and I spent the better part of an evening rigging line in the garden so we could fool him into thinking a leprechaun was moving through the bushes. Only a branch snapped off and whacked Kit in the eye, and that was that. Except, I must admit, seeing as I have no idea who or what that thing is that has us trapped down here, Mr. Delaney might not be all that wrong. I'm pretty sure her name's Fiona. She's the daughter of Brendan Malloy, the guy who was doing all the research down here. Everyone thought she was killed along with her parents when this place exploded. But she wasn't, and she's been wandering around in the bog near the castle ever since. So, if our wedding ever does take place, it looks like I'll end up with a crazy in-law after all. <laughs> well, I'm going to go find us a way out of here. Great. Why don't I wait right here? <laughs> oh, my poor dude. Dang, this is so wild. Didn't they say something about like a fake laboratory? So this is like the real one, I guess. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I think these are like rocket parts. I honestly don't fucking know. Nothing makes sense around here. I just came here for a wedding and now it's all just wild and weird. Work log rocket notes. Have decided to confine tests to liquid propellants only. Believe they will prove more efficient than either a solid or hybrid propellant system. This means altering rocket interior as liquids must be kept in separate tanks until ignition. Also requires separate combustion chamber. Note, te test possibility of turning liquid fuels to gases prior to entering combustion chamber may prove efficiency. Shifting of center of gravity will occur as propellants are ignited and forced out of rocket nozzle. Test varying weight loads and component placements to ensure stable flight. Did you know there was a button here that says, in case of lockdown, press to open? What? You mean something that could open up a way to escape was right under my nose the whole time? That does it. If I get out of here, I'm having that eye surgery. My weak stomach will just have to get over it. Um, let's save really quick. I guess. Oh. Um, what the fuck is this? And why did the flies start buzzing? Okay, we have a... Damn it. That's what happened because I saved. I'm so upset. This is showing the periodic table. Okay. I'm super upset by the sound. What is happening? Oh my god. It's a rocket. That scared the hell out of me, oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna put the top together, kinda like in um, Rocket, uh, Rocket, Puck Puck goes to the moon. You know what, hold on a second, I'm sorry. I still hear the buzzing, this sucks. All right, well this is where I'm gonna have to cheat because. Feel like talking? I don't feel like talking anymore. Aw, buddy. Don't I have his glasses? Am I crazy? I thought he did have glasses. Here. Feel like talking? I don't feel like talking anymore. But I have your broken ass glasses. Poor guy. I feel so bad for him. Alright, let's cheat. Um. I hate that I hear the buzzing of flies. It's so upsetting to me. Okay, so let's figure out this nonsense. When I say figure it out, I mean, I don't know what I mean. Category one. Apparently NH3. What am I supposed to do here though? Ooh. Oh, 
后